Hi, so working with the ink. Now, the ink is, I think, wonderful, but it has to be applied by a brush, and, and that can be really an inconvenience. And I was thinking of a way that would be a good way of making it that much easier, and I came up with these. Now, that's a needle dropper bottle, and it's got a really fine needle tip on it, and it's a HDP bottle, so it's quite squeezable. And I thought, I tell you what, that looks to me just like a pen. So I ordered a few of them and filled them up with some ink. So what we've got here now is an ink pen with the conductive ink in it. And I thought, okay, what are we going to do to demonstrate this? Well, the first thing we need to do really is draw something with it so you can see you can draw with it and then do something with that drawing. Now, I love things that light up. I think everybody loves things that light up. So I've got some of these and I warn you, these are tiny. These are um, LEDs, they're bright uh, blue-white LEDs, and they're about um, 0.6 of a millimetre by um, 0.3, I think. They're, they're absolutely minute. So I decided to draw up the circuit, put these lights on it, and light it up for you. Now, in order to do that, what was essential was this thing, which is a magnifying glass, because basically you can't see anything unless you use a magnifying glass to enable you to see it. Now, when you print something from a laser printer, it actually prints in plastic. So I designed a little design, which is, I don't know if you can see that, it's in grey with the FWG letters on it. And I designed that little design, but printed it in half tone, so that there's not that much ink on, um, plastic on there. So I can draw it quite nicely with the ordinary conductive ink, and it'll sit on the paper. And the ink draws really nicely, actually. All you have to do is tip the pen upside down and draw with it. Every now and then you need to give a little squeeze, but it seems to be self-feeding more than anything. So once it gets going, if it stops going, give it a tiny squeeze, but it should self-feed to fill in all the little gaps. Now you don't want the ink to dry on the nib, so every now and then just give it a little wipe. And you can follow the design of whatever you happen to have using the conductive ink pen. And then once you've drawn it, just set it to one side and let it to dry. Now in Great Blue Peter tradition, here's one I prepared earlier. So we've got our little FWG logo on there. Now, I put those little LEDs on there and I'm amazed if you can see them, but if I do that, they become obvious. So you can see the little FWG lighting up quite nicely there with its four LEDs. I think that's very cool. I didn't want to stop there. I thought, well, actually that kind of gives me an idea, really. And the idea it gave me was that you didn't need to do little uh, designs with it, you could do any design you wanted with it. So I came up with this little design. And it's butterfly, actually, is what it is. And it's the same thing, you just follow the design around with your butterfly, filling it in with your ink pen. And when you've drawn your design, put it to one side and let it dry. So once it's dried, I put the LEDs on there between the two butterflies, and if I turn the power on, you can see that lights up. So now that the ink is in this pen form and will be put in this pen form on the shop, I suddenly had an idea. I thought I can see a whole business out of this. Because you could make um, card kits, you could make light up cards, you could make electronic demonstration kits for schools. Just such a huge range of things. What you'd have to do is design some circuits that did something like light up or ring a bell include one of these, a piece of paper with the printed circuit on it so that people would just draw around it. And then I've used surface mount devices because I think they're really cute because once you get them on there, you actually can't see them until you light them up or do something with them. But you um, could add a whole group of electronic components, nothing too complicated, um, say a 555 timer and a piezo buzzer, some of this ink and a printed circuit, and you'll have a buzzing playable piano all in a box. So I can see this huge range of kits that could be developed from this basic idea that would actually make a business for somebody. So I could see that happening. Anyway, um, this took, oddly enough, 
quite a while to find this particular applicator and I'm quite pleased to have found it because the ink comes out a bit nicely, it enables you to draw, it makes it safe so that kids can use it, it gives you the idea and possibility of putting together kits, bagging them up and selling them to science fairs, electronic shops, uh, schools or just something to do on a rainy afternoon where you would print the circuit, paint it out, glue on some components with this thing and in an afternoon you'd have a circuit that did something without any soldering. So, I hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.